How's it going everyone? Hope you all are having a great day today. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Cobb Access port that I have right here for you. And uh, we're gonna be looking at the uh, different tunes that are available that uh, Cobb already preloads on these things, along with the tune that I chose for my car. And uh, yeah, we'll go into getting into installing it and uh, all that good stuff. So um, yeah, stick around. We're gonna have a great video today and uh, yeah. So once we get to installing the Cobb, it's very uh, straightforward. But one of the things that Cobb gives you in that box is one of these guys right here. This end goes into your OBD2 port and this one uh, connects straight into uh, your access port. And uh, just for installation purposes, you can just have your cord uh, loose, plug it in, plug it in your Cobb and follow the instructions. Make sure everything syncs up properly and all that good stuff. So once you plug it in, make sure everything's working, all your uh, your car is synced up properly. Then we can uh, figure out to routing the uh, wire so you don't have a uh, big mess by your feet and around your steering wheel. So um, yeah, we're just gonna hop right into uh, rerouting the uh, cable for your access port. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be uh, focusing on is getting a good spot for that cable to come through. And the first thing we want to do is we can just pop this uh, fuse uh, panel uh, out for now. That'll give us access um, to under the dash later when we need to feed that wire through. through. And then the second part is we're going to pop this guy off. You're going to need a little bit of a trim tool, but this guy just pops right off. There's some clips on the back right here, as you can see. This goes back in like that. So and the tool that I'm using is this, this guy right here. Um, this is just a plastic little trim piece tool. I mean, you could use it on, on doors and obviously on dashes and stuff like that. Uh, it's just, just a nice little plastic tool to make sure that your, uh, your plastic, your interior plastic, don't get scratched or anything like that, or dash surfaces, you know, stuff like that. So we're gonna, you're gonna need, definitely need one of these guys, and then you can go ahead, start feeding your wire through, and uh, seeing how much uh, slack you'll need to uh, be able to hook and unhook your access port. So uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, going away on, on this making sure our uh, cable is nice and tidy and still plugs into both of its spots, that being the access port and the uh, OBD2. And uh, I'll pick the camera back up once we uh, get everything put back together, so. All right, <laughs> update time. Um, my original plan was to just snake it up, up here and then just kind of tuck it in this gap right here. And I was thinking, this isn't really working very well, but I did manage to uh, get it up here. So if you don't have the uh, vent mount uh, for the access port, like I, I don't, I don't have the uh, access port mount. I just keep it on the windshield. But my plan was I was just going to, either modify my vent or just see if this just slides right through. And um, yeah, so I managed to get, get a, well, it's gone now, but, <laughs> but I managed to get the uh, cable ran um, through up here. And it turns out, as I haven't watched a video before, but it turns out that there is just a uh, Phillips head right here. Oops, there is a Phillips head that goes like right, right there. Take that out and uh, this whole panel just kind of uh, floppy johns it right down there. And then uh, that gives you the space to uh, wire your cable up and throw it into um, this guy. So yeah, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with my uh, stock mount. And there's, uh, looks like the hole should be uh, relatively big enough. So um, I'm gonna see if the uh, cable goes through there. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep chugging away at it. And I'll keep you, I'll update you when uh, this horrific mess is uh, dealt with. It looks way worse on camera, but in person it's, 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 it's not, I promise you. Alrighty, so I just ended up 
wrapping up the uh, little center console here, put everything back together. Uh, I did manage to wire it through the vent. Uh, I kind of <laughs> hacked it up a little bit, but I did end up, um, was able to uh, get the wire through the vent here. Uh, I had to trim the underside of the vent so it would actually fit. I didn't really film it because it looked re really bad, uh, but you can't see it, which is which is a good thing. So yeah, I just pulled this up. I trimmed it and pulled the uh, one of the vent tabs up. Now it's able to uh, put the wire through here. And like I explained in the last clip, um, I couldn't really get it to fit up the sides right here. So what I ended up doing was um, I just routed it from the bottom all the way up. I was able to get it through the vent. I know you can get the uh, vent mounts for it, but I just wanted to see the uh, wiring come all the way through. Uh, I was honestly, I was just, I was just tired from looking at it right here. And before I got the uh, vent mount, um, I just wanted to get the uh, wiring out of the way. And then um, once that comes in, I'll just, uh, swap it out and we should be uh, all all good to go there but as you can see everything's working uh everything's working on the access port fine i didn't fry any electrical things down there <laughs> which i knew i wasn't going to do but um i was also speaking of the wiring it was also down here and ugly and i kept kicking it or not really kicking it but like rubbing against it so because it was just a loose wire down here so i was tired of that but ended up just zip tying it and throwing it back behind the dash so uh, we don't see that anymore and it's just plugged right back into my obd2 but uh yeah everything is working as it should so yeah um now that we could uh fire the car up here i could actually show you the uh tune that i'm currently running here just go back, go down. Uh, just look at this real quick. Let it do its thing. So I'm running this one right here. This is the uh, refresh only stock and take, blah, blah, blah. Everything that I have. Um, stock and take uh, you know i don't have a full cap back or i don't have a uh, j pipe or anything like that so with that map right there a lot of the wrx guys complain that when you are in traffic and of course this is for the uh, manual transmission only uh if you're uh, in traffic and you're on a stoplight first to second when you're uh, just starting out um is very sloppy and it does um, some jerking most of the time so with that map it kind of cleans that up with the, the throttle control as well the, these cars have electric throttle they don't run off a throttle cable so it cleans it up a lot and uh, you don't really feel that jerkiness or anything like that um, I still end up shifting around uh, three to four thousand rpm uh, just so you know every time I do shift I, I can confirm that it will not jerk or anything do do anything stupid like that and um before the uh the throttle wasn't really um all there if that makes sense um you really had to push the car for it to actually uh move and actually build boost and all that jazz so with that uh that tune kind of cleans it up a little bit makes everything makes shifting e easier it doesn't you know it's not like a, installing a short shift or anything like that but it does make life a lot easier just daily driving and when you you want to put your foot down you, you actually have the ability to put your foot all the way down on the floor and it's uh, cleans it up and it makes the overall driving experience way better than it was stock and uh you don't if you end up getting access port you don't need to get a uh, a tune for it right off the bat um you can use it to monitor like i'm doing it right now or you can throw on one of cobb's um uh, off the shelf tunes of course you always want to follow the uh, directions 
with the uh, tune description that's already preloaded on the axis port. So um, yeah, they have stuff for intakes, stuff for downpipe plus intake, stuff like that. So yeah, it's just a really neat tool to use. And uh, especially with that uh, stage one, not the stage one plus, but the uh, stage one, cleans up the just the pleasure of driving this car every day like I do. So if you're thinking about getting a WRX or you currently have a stock WRX without an access port, get an access port, change your life forever. So uh, now we're going to go into some driving clips I took the other day because I have had this tune on for a while now. So here are just some clips I took the other day. This is just me driving and stop and go traffic. The car is actually handling phenomenally to with the uh, transmission standpoint. Of course, it's a new car, it's going to handle fine, but besides the point, I, I don't have any before clips with me without the tune, unfortunately, and it is kind of hard to demonstrate, through at least through video, uh, just the driving experience of it. I mean, I can just say it's great all day, but you, the viewers, don't really understand how it actually feels like like you can't just hop in a video and start driving my car but it honestly feels great if you've driven a stock 2015 plus a wrx then you know these uh, transmissions are more on the sensitive side so you kind of have to uh, drive it kind of aggressively to uh, not have any of that jerking going on so with the stage one tune from Cobb on there with the stock intake, stock exhaust, all that good stuff. It cleans it up, cleans up the uh, transmission pretty well. Of course, this only really works for the manual transmission. I'm sure there is some for the uh, CVT automatic, but overall, this is just very fun. More Definitely more dailyable than anything. Of course, I've yet to put my car on a track and uh, see how that goes, but overall, <laughs> I'm very satisfied with it. And if you have a 2015 plus WRX and nothing else onto it, and you just bought a cop, that's definitely the first thing you do. But plenty of other reviews out there that have said the exact same thing I have, so. guys so i'll do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like button while you're down there might as well hit that subscribe button and uh yeah until next video later